Hello and welcome to the White's PMV podcast, where I, Soros, and one other guest discuss anything and everything about White's PMV. This is episode 5 featuring Aluminum. Aluminum has been in the scene as long as anybody and has consistently made high quality videos throughout the years. He's an inspiration to me and I'm certain others. In this episode, we talk a lot about the intricacies of videos, such as our opinion on fake samples and multi-source videos. Then, at the end, he flips the script and starts asking me questions. I encourage everyone to check out his channel link below, as well as his alt, Master Z Kirby. Follow his new Twitter as well, at The Aluminum. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy. Hello, Aluminum. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? I'm doing great. It's, uh... Nice and cold and snowy here, and it kind of sucks. Oh, man. You're lucky. It's like almost 80 degrees where I'm at. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hot as hell. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get started. So, how did you get into Y2P and Y2P and V? Uh, I think I got in like 07, 08, you know, all those CDI, Legend of Zelda fucking videos. And then the, there was this guy that made, you know, an actual YTP and V instead of just a YTP, uh, you know, YTP. And then uh, I started just watching. And that, that's pretty much how it started. Oh, I get you. So then, so then, like, what made you start wanting to make vids? Oh, I didn't. I, nothing really made me start to make vids until I started watching, uh, what's his name? Yamas 03. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like a huge dick rider of his when i first started <laughs> he was like your and main I, inspiration yeah and i hate myself for it because it was like because uh, i don't know if a lot of people thought about it but i always thought he was like the best there was and i was like oh you know I, he is good right but i don't think he's like the pinnacle of ytpv you know what i'm saying yeah who else who else influences you now then you, oh you n- now else? oh yeah there's too many people now like even people that are inactive still oh yeah influence me now like i don't know if you know dismo you probably do but... oh yeah of course i i miss him so much <laughs> yeah he's still around he just he just won't make anything i i, I can't really talk to him that much cuz he's not even on discord uh from what i know yeah dang. but yeah just yeah you uh pretty much everybody now that i talk to like uh shigatashi and carl impossible car the br community uh Chile, you know, all those guys. Yeah. I really appreciate their videos, man. I, there's too many people to name because then I'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I agree. So uh, what was the first vid you made? Or like, uh, when when was that? Oh, the first video I made was in 2011. Um, It was with the Milkshake. I don't know if you know this. The It was Milkshake C, Man CP copying his uh, that Futurama uh, video where him and that Golden Bender I was like, yeah. like saying, ooh, yeah, <laughs> and then I did it. <laughs> I used that as a source, and then it was uh, the song was like, I think it was like from Mega Man X7, and it, it was obviously trash, but that was my first YTPV, I, and I deleted it like like seven months after I made it. <laughs> it was that bad, it, it was, it was pretty bad, yeah, it was like off timing, off pitch, you know, everything you would expect it to be, yeah, yeah, for a first one. Yeah, but I still try, man. Was that was that your first time using Vegas, or had you had like some video editing experience before? Uh, that was pretty much my first time. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's quite the that's quite the jump to just starting to make white PMVs without even like making any videos before. But I saw I saw like um the oldest video on your channel now is uh like that's uh public is your third watch pmv and it was pretty good like uh, it was at least on pitch on time like pretty good for a 2012 vid especially your third one so i guess i guess you improved pretty quick yeah because i just kept trying and then i was like uh well there's nothing else to do like because you got real i was in school so i had nothing else to do i was just looking at videos all day but that that actually i'm not gonna lie to you that one <laughs> took so long i don't know why but it's a <laughs> I think it took like three weeks to make that. And I don't know oh why. My God. <laughs> I read it. it was only thirty seconds long, so I I have no idea why it took that long to make. But I thought it was so good. 
did you notice that you like improved pretty quick then afterwards or like did you kind of like stagnate and then eventually just get better as the years went on or yeah was it, i think like, kind of pretty rapid i think i stagnated for like a year or two no honestly a year and then i met some dude named i think his name was cosby kong and he told me about like splitting tracks and uh slowing down the actual song so you can actually hear the, the pitch and all that other stuff oh yeah uh, that's that's what that's what made me jump that's why uh like if you notice like underwater my video i made is probably like the biggest jump i've ever made in, in my you know ytp and v's because that's when i met that dude and he helped me out yeah it kind of sucks that like a lot of these like little techniques you don't really know because there there hasn't really been too many tutorials other than just like the absolute basics so like like the intermediate kind of stuff you don't know unless somebody shows you especially back then yeah re yeah exactly even now i don't feel like there's a huge urge to even teach people how to do it anymore yeah. like I, I don't know i feel like the community's like man you either know how to do it or you don't like fuck you like that's really how i feel like <laughs> like i'm not even joking like there's like maybe two videos that i know of tutorials and there's one is from i think it's a dude called fizzy no and the other one was from search sergeant Scrub noob from yeah, like sergeant scrub noob yeah and that was from way back in like 2012 and he yeah. was like oh, my little pony kind of guy so Mm -hmm. You know, he had some serious <laughs> hate towards him at the time. <laughs> yeah, that, that was pretty divisive, MLP was. Uh, real, real quick, just a funny story. I don't know if you know this, but, like, back in, like, 20... Oh, I want to say 2014 or 2015, maybe. Um, I used to talk to Sergeant Scrubner, like, a little bit. And then randomly one day, he just, like, messaged me on Skype. And he was like, hey... uh." I don't, I'm not uploading anything. I'm kind of bored. I just want to like upload shit and t take over my account and just upload random shit. I was like, sure, why not? So he gave me, he gave me like access or the password or whatever. And then I just like, I changed the icon to Dr. Phil and it's still Dr. Phil. And then like I changed like his watermark to John Cena. Then I uploaded like three dumb ass videos of just like, me like driving around because i knew like any watch pmv i would upload i would absolutely hate so like all that shit on his channel is because of my uh, dumbass like 15 year old i had no idea you did that so he, he, he said, <laughs> so you're telling me you you pretty much are his account now like he has no well no 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 because like uh it, it was like a few months later after i like uploaded a few he's like oh it's like messing with chrome or whatever like i gotta change my password and they just like, give me the other password so i guess it, that was his way of booting me off but it was it was fun while it lasted <laughs> oh shoot oh man. i just i just think it's funny how he hasn't like changed the uh changed the profile <laughs> picture or anything it's just still dr phil <laughs> so is he is he done or is he just i'm assuming he's done but well, well he hasn't really uploaded anything to his channel but he did work on the octagon collab oh he did uh, interesting yeah, which the one last one uh, oh the, the most recent one yeah 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 oh that's great wait so he must have like an another account somewhere like because oh I, I don't know no, no no not anymore i don't talk uh, to him but uh yeah i know i know that he worked on the uh octagon club I could probably ask other people, but, but yeah, I don't, I don't really think he makes anything else besides that. But, um, anyway, going back to MLP, since you joined around like the, like height of the pony boom, like what was your opinion looking back on that? Look, I think that was the best and you, people are going to hate me for saying that. I think that was the best era of YTPNV and you'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm going to be like, I'll explain why it brought so many people in to the you know YTP and community it, it was ridiculous like and these dudes were like like Trey for example uh that dude is still making YTP UVs to this day I still mm -hmm. liked a lot of the YTPs YTP UVs that came out like and I, I like people it seems like to be forgotten a little bit but I that was my favorite part especially when uh what was his name corn or corn or Yamas or Stein, whatever the fuck his name was at the time was making my little pony YTP and V's. I really like those a lot. I think those are my favorite ones that he's ever done. Uh huh. Especially when he was using Cave Story. Um, everybody, oh, yeah. there was a lot of fighting, fighting in that time too. And I, I don't know why, but yeah, it, it just seemed really silly. 
I was gonna say I think it's like part of it is we were all like a lot younger back then, which didn't help. Yeah, true, but it was like it was just stupid, like a waste of time. Hey, like <laughs> it, it was just like, oh, you use My Little Pony? Oh, fuck, <laughs> <It's like>, you <laughs> yeah. fucking loser! Like, yeah. like, and then and then that's when I really started uh, hearing about the fake sources and all that stuff. People mm-hmm. saying you're not YTP being right, like it's like there's rules to this shit, like. <laughs> like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, there's like certain rules you can't use this source because it's too, you know, popular. Too, it's too generic. You, like, I, I don't, I don't really get that. But I really wish I could go back because a lot of videos got deleted from that mm-hmm. time. Yeah, deleted their channel for some reason. I, I don't know. And that's the thing that irks me the most. There was just so many good people who came into the community then, but like, yeah, there, there were also like. I w- I wouldn't want to say like equally, but there is a number of also like negative people who came in as well. Yeah, but, I I now that you th- say it, I I kind of do remember like trolls <laughs> that would just but upload. I mean, but I do shit. agree. Like like it definitely was like a whole different time, whole different era. But uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Like, were you actually into my little? Po- I'm pretty sure I doubt it, but. No, I I was. I'll admit, uh, I was. <laughs> okay, way, no, way, way back in like season one and two. Well, like halfway through like season two, I was like, uh, okay, I'm kind of tired now. Yeah, I got you. So you were actually watching. You were not just using it as a source. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I really want to know what the hype was back then. I I don't I don't even know honestly. Like, it was just uh, for me, it was like more so that like everybody else was into it. I think. Uh, so, I get you. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of like groupthink and like, I don't know, I, me just being a dumbass and being into YTP and seeing all that, and I was like, oh, okay, let's try it out. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a time, an interesting mm-hmm. time. So you mentioned uh, fake samples. What what constitute? So like in the fake sample versus re- real sample war, like. What in your mind constitutes a fake sample? Like, I think it's like something that's obviously changed to the point where it sounds nothing like the original sample. Like, yeah. it doesn't reflect the visuals either. But I, I, look, I don't really care about fake samples. But some people just, they just get pissed off. They're like, oh, you fucking bastard. Like, how could you? Like, <laughs> like I, I, it's, it's like, it's, bro, this is, this is like these unwritten rules when it comes to making YTP that just irk me. It's like, what? You do whatever you want like this is, we're not yeah, getting true. paid for this yeah you know true. what i'm saying like yeah that that's something that i've kind of had to come to terms with because uh yeah i've never i'm i'm kind of like on the the real sample side and like i don't know i try not to cause too much of a stir but you're right like it's it's an online community nobody makes the rules you know do whatever the fuck you want at least at least like now it seems like that there's even like a, a separate like divide of the community like there's there's people who only watch like those like hyper visual fake sample not fake sample but (laughs) high like big vsts on it yeah they don't even watch like they don't even watch like other people sometimes but yeah exactly like i I just think it's like it's weird to me Mm -hmm. there's like a few like y2pmv 2019 videos and they didn't like they didn't show, like, I don't know. I don't consider Faison, like, obviously to me, he's a big influence. But, like, I don't consider Faison and Gertrick, like, the best of the best in YTP and V's. Like, of course, everybody likes different stuff. It's, like, a different, like, subgenre. But, like, damn, they didn't put in a single one of their videos in a whole ass, like, compilation. And, you know, it's not, like, it's it's their own opinion. And you're not trying to, like, call people out for their own opinion. But, right. yeah. Like, yeah, I can, I can understand like, cause I think uh, the Russian dude Gurchik, I can't pronounce his name right, but he actually does edit, like modify his samples a bit now. At first he didn't, but I noticed that he, I think he uses Melodyne to like like perfectly pitch his stuff now. But it's just stuff like that. It doesn't really matter. Like, mm-hmm. I, like what constitute is a fake sample for you? Cause I don't like anything could be fake if we're being real. Like a VST, you know, yeah, you know, true. It could. It's technically faking a sample like it doesn't yeah. originally sound like that i'm just saying like uh i guess like amplifying something to just like fine tune it perfectly like i feel like the 
the charm of it is that you're taking like normal normal sounds and then just making it like mashing it up into a song and like when you when you fine tune it enough where uh like something sounds exactly like a kick it can just be it can just be very like unappealing to some oh yeah to, like i don't know I at least that's 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 for me and uh, everybody else is gonna have a different opinion so i'm not gonna try to like preach it too much yeah i, I remember someone saying it, like in the comment section was like well, what's the point of faking a sample if you're essentially just doing a cover of it i think that's that was an argument that was brought up because if yeah. you're like mimicking the song perfectly then why not just make a cover yeah you and know what i'm saying White's pmvs have been like a thing for a long time now like that's been a like it's always been a hot debated issue yeah exactly yeah I, but i don't think that's a bad thing either though mm -hmm. do you do you like like uh a lot of these cover white pmvs and stuff well, like yeah. that you, you'll just you'll just watch like you'll just enjoy anything you don't have like a strong opinion either way yeah I, i'd pretty much just enjoy whatever someone makes yeah I think it's more impressive when people cover fully cover songs that don't have like splits to it. Like, for example, certain games from I don't fucking know, you know Nintendo GameCube. There's some songs don't have like splits. You know how like, SNES tracks usually have splits to it. Like every song, mm -hmm. you can yeah, split yeah. it up and separate. I think it's I think it takes skill to cover a track or a song that doesn't have splits. I think that's pretty impressive because you have to have a pretty decent ear. Yeah, you know. Cause I'm I'm pretty trash in that aspect, man. I can't <laughs> lie. Like you're probably the same way. Like like you stop. I could tell you don't like have the time, or do you really enjoy covering a song all the way? Cause uh, some people don't think it's fun. I don't think it's fun anymore, to be honest. Yeah, I don't I don't really think it's too much fun anymore. Like the the amount of time put into covering an entire thing versus like the what you get out of it in the final product just isn't really worth it in my mind. Yeah, exactly. That that's that's pretty much what I wanted to my wanted to say is my exact same yeah. opinions. Yeah, like there's there's been a lot of videos lately that I just don't even bother with like percussion, Mo mostly because like even though like percussion can be like the best part of a video, it's just annoying <laughs> to actually like edit in and find samples for and everything and make it sound decent. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Percussion so, and chords and bass are like things that irk oh, me the most. <laughs> don't even, don't even yeah. get me started on chords. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I was told some tricks about chords. You know, like some like go like it's like negative five, negative seven. Like those two numbers can get you mm -hmm. a decent variety of chords, but it still sounds horrible. Like I don't, <laughs> I understand how people do chords. I really don't. I don't either. And like, I, yeah. Music theory definitely helps with that, but yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I. I'm not. You know, it's funny. I haven't really talked to this with too many other YTP viewers, but like you would think, like doing all this with music, uh, it would help with music theory. But like, even though like I, I know how to read music. Like if I hear a note or whatever, I can't tell you that. Oh, that's a that's an A flat or whatever. I'm just like, oh well, that's uh plus uh three. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like. That's why I like I equate this to like you know someone tracing a drawing because that's all we're really doing. Like you're just kind of mm, yeah. That's an interesting way to look at it. Yeah, you're just copying what somebody already did. You're just like you know that sounds like pretty decent. Mm -hmm. You know I I just I wish there was a way we could get our ears to be trained better, but obviously you have to go to school or have a well versed knowledge in music, and I don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Since you joined, like, uh, back in 2011, 2012, uh, is it weird to you now that you're kind of like a white PMV boomer? Like, is that weird in your mind? Because uh, there's a lot of newer and there's, like, a big... There's a lot of newer, younger people, especially from Siva Gunner, uh, and they definitely consider 2012 to be a white PMV boomer. Is that weird in your mind, or are you just kind of used to it now? Um, I'm used to it, honestly. Yeah. Because I didn't honestly didn't think of this... You know, YTP and V's YTP would last this long. Believe it or not, I'm I'm still shocked that people are still making it today. Yeah, honestly, me too. Because this is not a popular genre. Like it's it it can get views, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. most most of the people that watch YTP and V's are the ones that make YTP and V's. Like there's not too many outsiders. Like oh, this is pretty cool. 
Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, you know, share this video. Now it's pretty much the same guys that make it. So, yeah, yeah, and the and the outsiders are like, like the Twitch community who just like meme with Gachi because they just think that like Gachi is funny itself, and they don't really care about any of the other like intricacies that we do. Yeah, exactly. I don't understand how that even started on Twitch because I've been on Twitch since I was since 2012 and 2011 as well. I don't, I don't really understand. I don't either, but like I'm, I'm, I guess I'm glad, you know, anything to promote Matt or YTPMV, but like, yeah, I have no idea how that started. Yeah, it's probably not going anywhere either. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, probably not. Yeah, I'm 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 also very surprised that YTPMV has lasted this long. Like, where it's literally ten years after a lot of people have started, and people are still making them, and even like people who have left for a while are coming back now. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. It's exactly. Just insane to me. You won't believe it. Triforce just made a video like ten minutes ago. Not even joking. Really? He's been dead for, yeah, I'm not even joking. Yeah, Aiden. Oh my God, that's yeah, insane. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a quick video, but the fact that he made it, I hope that means he's coming back. I'm, I'm praying. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> me too. Like, uh, Atomic Baby has made, speaking of, speaking of all this, uh, Atomic Baby has made two Obama vids, and which he hasn't been around for a long time. Kezu comes out of the graves and makes two Obama vids. It's kind of crazy. But, yeah, we're kind of in the middle of a Obama fad tidal wave. Like, I don't think... We've had this many videos being uploaded at once since like Undertale, basically. If if even then, so yeah, true. What do you think of all this, uh, like this giant influx? I honestly like fads because fads, you know, especially this one because this one is like, I don't understand how it just blew up in a couple of days, but it helps people make videos, like, because you know, I I noticed that a lot of people when they make YTPVs have like art blocks. Oh, it sounds like shit. I'll just delete it. Like mm -hmm. it, it takes a lot to for it to get going, but once you get it going, then it's okay. So that's why I like fats because they're short, simple, sweet, and you can upload it and you know get some type of rhythm going to you know possibly make another one. So yeah, I hope yeah. more fads come out this year because uh, last year I don't I can't remember too many fads for some odd reason specifically for 2019, but mm -hmm. this is a great way to start a year. I hope. Yeah. So. Yeah. The only fad I've ever started was the rice cakes one, and that wasn't even, it wasn't even really like a fad, like not, definitely not like Obama or like any of the 2011 ones. But yeah, yeah. I, that still caused people to, I, I, I think you were like uh, downplaying that one. I, it caused me to make a video, so it was like, that's, I see quite a people use that source because of, of that one video. Yeah, yeah. Which, Ooh, uh, that, that's, that's nice to be. It's like, damn, I, I deadass have that power. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. Like you, you're pretty influential. I think. Thank you. Yeah. But uh, do you think fads necessarily help creativity? Then, like, I mean, obviously, like, like you said, like getting started and get it going. But do you think it like limits like your creativity? Like, oh, now, now, whenever I'm trying to think of an idea, I can only think of it with Obama sources rather than like as like I'm running into that issue. Like before, I would be like, oh, you know, I'll use this source for whatever, you know, with my my own dumbass crackhead YTPMVs, but like uh, now it's just like all I can think about is like Obama sources. And right after Magfest, it was like all I could think about were, was using Big Chungus as a source. <laughs> uh, I well, I think it depends on who's doing it because like I, I think I know what you're trying to say, but it depends on who's making the video. Like a person can just you know make a basic you know sentence mixing video, for example, with Obama, or they can you know go take that extra mile. And make a like a full length video, like a two three minute YTPMV, with just random Obama sources. Because that's what I'm noticing now. Some people are just using sources that are just related to Obama or American politics. So I think it depends on who's making it and the ideas they have. Because some people just want to make a video, and then some people will you know go that extra mile to make something that takes a little bit more time. Yeah. Do you prefer multi source vids then? To be uh, just I don't general. think I have a preference. I, well, I think they're both pretty even. Like, uh, multi-source is easier to make, but I think it takes time and dedication to make a one-source video. Oh, yeah, definitely. 
like especially if it's from like i don't know a very small episode or series movie etc like mm-hmm. I, I think I, I can respect one source someone using one source over multi-source a little bit more because yeah, the effort yeah. and time it takes uh, do you feel the same way or are you kind of like eh, i like multi-source better uh i i like multi-source better i feel like i feel like it like i don't know having constraints is nice because like being constrained you come up with ideas because you're forced to come up with ideas you know but like when when you're doing multi-source like you you just have so many more options and it's like a lot easier to make something better sounding without having to use a bunch of vsts and reverb and whatnot you know and eq which i i like a lot more yeah but but definitely definitely like somebody who like goes out and does a uh one source video only using like i don't know simpsons or something i guess simpsons is kind of different because it's just been around for so long but like i can't really think of any right now but yeah i i I definitely like multi-source a lot more because then then like you have a lot more you have a bigger chance to be surprised and laugh at something so yeah yeah i I, agree i I agree with what you're saying yeah uh something i've noticed about your white pmvs is that you keep the visuals like super clean and pretty simple looking uh like you know you could always tell which part is the uh, lead, which part's the percussion, and all of that. So did you kind of, like, grow into that visual style, or is it something that you've, like, purposefully strived for? Honestly, that results from, again, uh, Giannis, or mainly when his when he changed his name to, like, uh, Stein. Because mm. that's where... Because I always like that slim, like, that simple design, so it's easier to know, like you said, know what... what the actual song part of the song I'm using to cover the source. Uh, it's, it's honestly, I don't even like it to be honest. Cause I think it's just too basic to me. Like I prefer like crazy visuals. Like I, I wish I had somebody to use an example, but I don't really like the simplistic design. Other people might, but I prefer like crazy. You don't know what's what, but you can hear mm-hmm. everything. Like, did you like the visuals on like the Octagon collab, for example? Like, uh, those, those were pretty, those were very high quality, but those were also like super planned out. So yeah, I guess yeah, that's yeah. kind of like the, the top of the top, but yeah, that, that stuff like that, I already know takes like, you can't just do that in a day. Like that's stuff oh, that yeah. takes like <laughs> weeks just to do a couple seconds of it. Yeah, I do. I do enjoy those videos, but, uh, I'm not like honestly a huge octagon fan. Believe it or not. I'm like, eh, mm. Jack Black. It's like, how old now? Like, I'm not a <laughs> hating. I'm not hating it. I'm just saying I'm not a huge fan of the Octagon collab, but I do yeah. appreciate the people that put in the effort to make a video in it, though. Oh yeah, definitely. I know damn well I could not have. I get kicked out in like a month because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I would have nothing done. Have you been in a lot of collabs? I don't even know. I've been. Uh, I don't think so. I think I've been in less than four. If we're talking about like not a one on one collaboration, but oh, more like yeah. yeah, the only one that I remember me being in is the math party collab and that was from what, twenty Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I that was a good collab. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's that shit's super old. Like <laughs> Yeah. Smashy's like, I part think most always of people... always sticks out to me. Yeah, he was really good. I don't know what happened to that dude. I, I always used to talk to him. I really liked his videos, but he just disappeared again yeah i don't i know i know it sucks <laughs> yeah. why did the why did the best people just up and quit or leave i, I don't know i wish there was like some theory because either they just like delete their videos or just disappear or or get arrested <laughs> yeah oh geez i don't you know what you, you so- might as well bring that up <laughs> i'm sorry no 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 that's as far as i'm gonna go with it okay. i don't want to talk right. about it okay okay because <laughs> that shit was shocking to me as well that that hit me wow. like a fucking stack of bricks. Yeah, it was like, man, I I thought, you know, not to say that this community is already weird, but that just made things a little bit worse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of gonna be careful who I'm talking to now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I think like now, 
now that we're past well, pretty much everybody who's like established in the white pmv community actually i'm pretty sure everybody is at least an adult and like now we we pretty much weeded out all of the <laughs> all of the weird people like that or you know yeah i hope <laughs> so, yeah so so it's pretty it's pretty i think now we're in a pretty good spot but yeah it just goes to show like damn it's still the internet like it's that's still an online big, community um, biggest yeah. reminder <laughs> yeah yeah so it's now 2020 and i think i know what the answer is since we were just talking about this huge fad right now but do you think what do you think of like the people who kept spouting white pmv is dead because even that like not very many people have have said that too much anymore pretty much everybody's kind of stopped now thankfully but like back in 2016 like damn it seemed like everybody was thinking that but uh yeah what what do you think is like the current status of white pmv it's it's fine it's fine because people are still gonna make videos I just think that I agree. I don't know what year it was. I'm pretty sure it was either 2016, 2017. It was one of these years, recent years, that it was super dry for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. like, like, when it comes to people that I knew. Yeah, yeah. I think, like, honestly, if Undertale wasn't a thing, I think White's PMV definitely would have died out more. I don't think it would have been dead. But it, I think it definitely would have died out more because Undertale was like the little bit of like revival that we needed in 2015 and 2016 to get us going. Yep, and I agree because you know a lot of people now I think about it like I didn't think Undertale was a big deal, and then I realized there has been a lot of uh, a lot of vids using their songs, that game song. So that definitely yeah. inspired a lot of people. Yeah, not even like their songs, but also their sources. It inspired quite a few collabs. Yeah, yeah, and co hey. and collabs. Yeah, true. Another one could be coming up. Another game, like another game that's influential, or another My Little Pony. Something is going to pop up. I feel that's just gonna gonna be Overtake used heavily. Everybody. Yeah, I I have, yeah. I have a feeling because it's been a while since something like Undertale has had a grip on YTPNV. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I guess Smash to a lesser extent, but yeah, there's there's only so much you can do with Smash. The problem with Smash, like, I always wanted to use the source, but you got to do so much just to get, <laughs> like, yeah, because like like you got to ask people to like like record like using Dolphin and all that stuff just to get decent sources, and I'm like, man, I don't want to <laughs> do That's all too that much work. Yeah, it's way too much work. I thought it'd be easy to source like Smash Brothers and, and fighting games. No, it's it's annoying. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. So now to to this day, what kind of keeps you going? What motivates you to keep making watch PVs? I think getting better is my biggest motivation, and uh, trying to mimic people that I thought I would never get to, like when I started. Honestly, didn't think I would get to this point. So what keeps me going is still looking at the older videos that got me started. I, I think that really helps me. And just appreciating other people's work. Because, like, yeah. I don't know when you started. Did you have, like, a guy uh, that was like, wow, I really want to get to this level? 2013. And, like, uh, sort of. I kind of just wanted to make dumb joke vids, basically. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, that was like that was, for me that was starting out, but like, yeah, I definitely like still idolize like, uh, you know, of course, F Faison and a uh, bunch of other people. I can't even think off the top. Zarlable, Zarlable was definitely a big influence back then. I think I watched River Spice like thirty times back in like twenty eleven, twenty twelve. It's really been that long. That's crazy. <laughs> you keep <laughs> saying these years. I'm like, man, I was a frick. I was like fourteen years old, like. Yeah, like, I, I I'm young as fuck for like the community. Like, uh, I'm 20 right now, so like I'm basically oh, as old. As, I'm basically as old as a year. So like, yeah, I was I was <laughs> I was young as fuck when I got into this. Ew. Okay, I thought you were my age. Like, I'm not old either. I'm like I'm 24. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ew, and that that seems to be like the, the average year, of people who like. Or the average age of people who got into it around your time was like yeah. pretty much that old. Because I think I think Jab's that old, uh, 
Rob is that old. Faison's around that age. So, yeah. This is going to be crazy because all it takes is going to be five years and then you're going to have like 30, <laughs> 30 <laughs> year olds making this shit. <laughs> I don't yeah. even find it embarrassing. I I just it's just crazy to think about. Yeah, it it is crazy to think about. Honestly, like fuck, time. I I I don't know how long this shit will go, but so far it's been going for more than a decade. Yeah, it, it's it's been pretty long. I'm just hoping YouTube can remain like free. I'm I'm kind of nervous that they're gonna start cracking down on content, like obviously non popular content. Because nobody in the community has like over like a hundred thousand subscribers besides what Mutendo? I can't pronounce his name. Mountendo. Yeah, Moten. Moten. Dew. Yeah. Oh, Mountain Dew. Mountain I was saying Dew. it wrong this whole time. It's I, uh, I don't I, know I, something like that. Okay, but yeah, yeah. I'm just hoping they don't start limiting people that are not popular. I'm because that could fuck this whole thing up. Yeah, me too. Because um, I've I've read YouTube's like policy. They're trying to stop create like content that doesn't have that's not advertising friendly you know and that obviously our shit is definitely not <laughs> appropriate for like advertisers so yeah yeah and it's, so uh, i'm hoping and you know people people were trying to move to vidly and whatever but oh man it's gonna it's gonna have to take like a serious like oh we actually can't make the content that we want to make to get enough people to move yeah, exactly. Like, cause YouTube has a huge <laughs> monopoly on video sharing, and I hate that it's got to this point. Cause there were options available back in the day, but now it's just like it's either YouTube or well, you, you're not uploading a video now. Yeah, I guess Twitter has <laughs> become a big uh, like video sharing thing. Like, I I just simultaneously upload my videos on both. But um, do you have a Twitter, by the way? I don't think you do. I just made one and it and it literally has nothing on it, so I, uh, I can give it to you. <laughs> like, but it's it's I do not use it. I I recommend using it because like YTP and V's like they can they get it's pretty easy for them to like all it takes is just like a couple people retweeting it and then it can go off. But yeah, I mean Twitter Twitter is definitely a good place to share all this. But uh, what sucks is trying to find old videos. Like Twitter is such an awful platform to try to find older, older videos from like even like a, a couple months ago. It's just impossible. I feel like you have to like the only option is to like look through your re retweets. I'm assuming. Like yeah, oh, what? yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Because you, 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 you <laughs> well, there's like there's like a way to like search, um, like between like one one time and another. Uh, like for instance, like you could you could search from colon Soros and then like. There's an option with a calendar, and you could be like, "Oh, it uploaded between these dates." But yeah, if you're trying to find like something that somebody just uploaded with no no text or anything, like it's it's, it's fucking hard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fuck. You, oh, so you still have yours, a Twitter account? Because I googled or I typed in your name, and it said <laughs> you've been suspended. Is that like old or something? Oh used? yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I got. I got suspended on 9/11 last year for what the fuck like, for the source. No, for like three three dumb videos. Like literally, like think of like the worst shit that you can make. Like throwing like baby guitar onto like uh, a a uh, what what was it? Little ugly main song or whatever. It was like <laughs> it took it took like ten minutes at max. And then, like, two of these other videos took, like, 10 minutes at max, and I just uploaded it. And UMG saw them. They're like, hmm, these are our songs. Time to suspend this guy. So I got fucking suspended oh, over that. My but, I got, but I got my account back because they didn't give enough of a fuck to make another – after I made a counterclaim to strike me down again. So I'm holding on so far, but be careful. Don't, don't use UMG on UMG stuff on Twitter because they can get you if they it's find crazy. out. Like, were those videos popular i'm assuming or they just had like this auto no no they like, were not like they were not popular at all they had like three likes like maybe at the max like i don't know i don't know how umg saw this but they must have like some content id matching system i figured that that's so fucking whack yeah Does twitter actually have any limitations when it comes to videos because i feel like joke videos are like twitter's favorite i don't think anything yeah. serious would be 
liked that much on Twitter. I'm just just because how it is. Yeah, 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 that that's pretty accurate. The what sucks about Twitter is you're limited to like uh, two minutes twenty seconds, and you can't do sixty FPS. You can render <laughs> in sixty FPS and upload it, but and also another thing that really sucks about Twitter, uh, for the thumbnail for the video, it just takes whatever the first frame of that video is. So like <laughs> if you if you have a white PMV and it fa- and it goes from like black to like fading in then like your thumbnail will just be black and like the incentive for other people to click on that goes way down just from that so there's a lot of people who will put like a frame of something or like just like a little bit of something at the beginning just so the th- just so the thumbnail on twitter isn't like black basically ah uh, okay i mean yeah, yeah i might have to like... look at twitter yeah dude go for it i'm sure i'm sure some of your stuff would go off there's there that's like the main reason why I ever got a Twitter and stuck with it was because of all the white PM viewers were on it and oh really I didn't know that yeah yeah so what else do you want to get out of making white PMVs is it just for like pure enjoyment or is there something something else under there that you're trying to fulfill uh, just mainly skills to be honest mm-hmm. like you know I don't think I'm gonna stop until I I reach a point where I'm like okay I learned everything I could. I did all the songs I wanted. I'm done. I'm just going to watch. You know, like, you're going to retire or some some weird shit like that. That That's kind of how my point is. Mm-hmm. You know how most people, like, just quit randomly? And I'm like, I, I can kind of see where they're coming from. But I'm like, it took, like, a long time to learn how to do, like, video edit. I would hate for it to go to waste just because I don't want to make specifically YTPVs anymore. Yeah. I yeah. feel like this is a skill that could make some serious money <laughs> eventually. Oh, you yeah. Know? Oh, yeah, for sure. And, like, uh, there's been multiple people who have have gotten video editing gigs. Like, like Carl, like you mentioned at the beginning of the episode, he edits for some big-ass YouTube channels now, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, he does. And I try to – he actually tried to put me onto it, but I was like, nah. They, I, he, he's a very uh, skilled dude. I can't do what he does, but I have some – you'd be surprised at what the videos he edited – I looked at his portfolio recently. They all got like two, three million views, but they're like the, he's editing for like something that's not really inspiring. Like, you know, those cringe meme dudes, reaction channels, like, yeah, they get all these views. <laughs> hey, it makes money. I can't, I can't lie. It, if it given you money or power to him, but it's, that would suck the effort out of me really quick. Yeah, you know? I, I agree. I agree. It's, it's definitely something worth trying, like, uh, like editing other people's, for like doing this freelance work but so like yeah i would almost decline it just because it's like damn i i'm just gonna cringe anytime i do this and i don't want to i don't want to contribute to this yeah and they surprisingly ask for a lot for people that don't that can't do the work themselves like they'll ask for like it's like them they're they're commissioning to do an art piece and it's like you don't even know how to do any of this why are you at they ask for a lot of stuff when i was trying to do it apply for it or just hey make can you make more meme jokes or like like there's no instruction here it's like make more funny oh, that, that that's yeah. that's kind of how they are and it, it's it's so bad i feel sorry for the dudes that have to do that all day yeah yeah does carl enjoy that honestly it sounds like to me he says hey i'm a he doesn't even care if it's enjoyable he said it makes very good money for him specifically that's what he told me that's great so i i think he says yeah i don't really care it makes money yeah yeah <laughs> and that and honestly like that's a that's a pretty good outlook like i mean especially like not making like the whole <laughs> i always i always love the meme like the youtube poop doesn't pay the bills thing that I think <laughs> deeper cut said all those years ago like damn this this dumbass skill that we spent all this time learning like it's actually paying off finally for some people anyway exactly and i feel like it there would be a huge market if this was a little bit more popular. Cause like I said, most people that, you know, edit like this are like, you compare us to like any average guy coming out of school, you already know how to do pretty much everything. Yeah. You can cut yeah. copy extremely fast just because of the content that we make. I just wish there was a more straight direction we could go to, but I'm still looking. And if I do find it, I'll, I'll definitely let y'all know, or, you know, specifically. Oh, cool. Fuck. Yeah. Cause, yeah, cause you I, should get paid. Uh, you, you should be able to get paid for this. There's people that get paid for like making slideshows for weddings. <laughs> like, <I'll, laughs> so I'm like, 
you should be able to get something. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, like, all that I've really done making like in terms of like making money is like just editing like live streams down, like just making. I don't know, just like editing out the boring parts or whatever and just adding in whatever is necessary. And it definitely is tough because it's just like like no instructions at all. Just go in, go do it, make it good. It's like, damn. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's worth a shot. It is. It is. It, it, and if uh, speaking of, I remember you mentioned Twitch earlier. I think pandering to those guys, like I don't know if you know about League of Legends and uh, what's that other game? Uh, Dota. Yeah. Like those, if you like pander to those guys because they seem to always need an editor because they were always like like they always say my editor quit or I, I don't have time to edit videos i think that might be a good option because yeah, these guys I'm, always need somebody to edit their videos and upload it to youtube i'm actually like super into dota <laughs> but hey, that uh, be weird. i know i know i've i've thought about it but yeah uh like a lot of the also also another thing that they want in like a combo package is they want you to also make a thumbnail, you know, like a clickbaity thumbnail. And like, I'm not very like, I don't know, I could throw something together, but it probably wouldn't be that good. You know what I mean? Uh, like, I, like that's that's the thing that sucks with like editing for YouTube people sometimes. So yeah, you, they, gotta, you gotta you gotta be good at like multiple things to really excel at it. Yeah, that that's fucking. This sucks. <laughs> yeah, should be should yeah. be simple. <laughs> but, yeah, I know. So, what do you think about all this uh, COPPA and like limiting whether you can add to playlists and just people deleting old white PMVs or their channel or whatever? Like that probably that probably irks you just as much as it does me, right? It does, and it, it kind of encourages me to just start like mass downloading people's channels. Mm-hmm. Just takes up too much room. I just. <laughs> Like shout out to the re-uploaders like uh, Sky. Like I really appreciate those guys because uh, it's you don't know who's gonna delete. Like it could be anybody. Somebody, somebody you were just talking to the other day. Like somebody I know, Casta recently deleted. Well, not deleted, but he unlisted all of his videos. And I was like, what? What the fuck is going on, man? Like I was, I was just talking to you the other day. So it's it's kind of rough to have like content you like just disappear. For no mm-hmm. reason and there's no there's no backup option like, yeah, yeah so it it definitely does suck Th- yeah. thankfully thankfully like people who make uh like the yearly compilations you know you got to download the videos to put them in so usually they have a few but yeah you're you're right like re-uploading is definitely an issue it hasn't it hasn't been too much of an issue like as of late though like it was definitely a big thing like back in like 2012 2013 when Seems like yeah. people would just people people would just be like ah fuck this and just delete like a big vid. Yep, I remember that. Yeah, I remember constantly people making like really really like detailed videos, and then they'd be like, eh, I don't like it. It's, <laughs> and then they just delete it. It's like it's been like hours on this, like yeah, and then they just like wipe it off. It's just it's crazy to think about. Mm-hmm. That just comes with anybody that's creative. Like whether you're an artist, yeah, or an editor, yeah. <laughs> like the scenes they all have the same problem. Like I, I hear it all the time. Yeah, it sucks, and uh, well, especially people who make music. But that one's a bit harder if like you actually released it on like a label or whatever. Like once it's it, released on a label, you can't really do anything. But so, speaking from somebody who's used Vegas for like what eight or nine years now, uh, what kind of what what's been like your most infuriating thing that's ha that's like or like repeated problem that's happened to you related to Vegas through the years? Uh, uh just the fact that it gets overwhelmed with like not a lot of editing. Like yeah. so my the problem with most of my Vegas is over the years, like I've been think I've been through four different versions. They always seem to when you have a like a really detailed video, it just starts to slow down. And it's so easy for it to uh, crash. And it's like, how are you selling this like $600, $700 program that can't handle, you know, a couple of tracks? Like, it's, it doesn't make sense. Like, yeah. it, you know, what I, like, I'm pretty sure it happened to you. Like, you didn't even have like a super detailed video and it just decides to crash. Like, no reason, oh, no yeah. triggers. Just, and then you lose everything because the auto save feature is obviously retarded. So, yeah. Yeah. It, uh, it, the auto save just, I turned off and you're you're definitely right like 
and and at least for me it sometimes it just seems like certain vegs just get cursed and like it just keeps crashing or it doesn't want to render a certain point or whatever and it's uh it is yeah that's like the most infuriating thing for sure and you know what's crazy like i when sometimes when you have one of those corrupted vegs something like changing the name of the vegs fixes it and i'm like are you serious like what <laughs> like i'm i'm joking really? i noticed that yeah for mine the what version was it that i was using that i think it was no 13 no 13 that 13 sony vegas pro 13 is the one i use and sometimes corrupted vegs like just won't even play but i changed the name is everything is back to normal what the fuck? nothing changed beside the name i didn't i didn't know that what the fuck that's yeah. insane yeah like I, I i don't know i wish there was a you know you know each version you're praying that it gets better but it's like the same issues are like haunting it it's, it's like what's the point mm-hmm that's probably why some people go to Reaper because I I barely hear anybody talk about Reaper's problems. So I'm like, you know, maybe I should yeah. just go to Reaper just for the audio. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. that's that's too much effort to do to sync those I agree. Uh, to audio with the Sony Vegas. That's that takes too much time. Yeah, there's there's like a like the whole new wave of uh, Siva Gunner YTP and viewers pretty much. Uh, I'm not gonna generalize them, but a lot of them do use like FL to make them, and it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Like, I guess, I guess like yeah, using an actual DAW would make sense, but uh, I don't know. It's 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 almost like heresy to not use Vegas to make the audio and like <laughs> it's I don't know. At least to me, but uh, it it produces good results. Same with Reaper. Same with Melodyne. I mean, shit, some people even use Audacity way back in the day. Sheesh, I can't imagine using that. <laughs> like, yeah. I just want it yeah. to work, though. I feel like somebody has to have the answer. Cause yeah, and I was things... so... Oh, sorry. I was so hoping that Magix would have fixed this shit when they bought it oh. from Sony. Nope. But no. Nope. Nope. Yeah, nothing. nothing just updating changed. it. I think they're just using the same exact fucking code that was already built in because i can tell that this is the same exact because the the problems are exactly the same every version like so i think they're just building on to what sony already did Mm -hmm. starting from scratch but like i said for 600 700 dollars i there's no excuse for this program to be so bad yeah i agree no excuse. i guess the the counter argument that i've heard is like watch pmv is literally just like a a stress test for Vegas, but I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, yeah, you're it's, right. <laughs> but but I but I mean like still, it should still be able to handle. But it sometimes it just randomly does, so I don't know. Yeah, but now that I think about it, like you got to realize <laughs> this program wasn't designed to do all that. You you kind of are right. You do have a point because you got to realize like the, the visuals are like change every second. A lot of movement. Each you know clip has a pitch change, so. I can see where the issues come from, but I'm still like, should be stable though. Like, I don't understand mm-hmm. why it got to like freak out. And I don't understand how it can't handle gifts. Like, yeah, that, that anytime... should blow my mind. <laughs> anytime <laughs> like... you try to add in a gif, it just completely like slows down and shows like one frame of it. Yeah, I I have no idea why it does that. I think it could be just the formatting. Like, the format doesn't go well with Vegas in general. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't know, even load weird. up. Like, it just turns into like a green glitchy blob and i'm like really yeah 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 um linus there was like a tweet on uh linus tech tips twitter where uh they were showing the the timeline for like a video before it came out it was like some uh it was like some 22 minute long video of like uh a, like an editing face off between one of their editors versus i justine and anyway uh like they showed the um I'll see if I can find it real quick. But they showed the timeline for it, and people were like, oh my god, that timeline's so crazy. Like, how how can you edit like that? And I was like, damn, this is like less than a, what a white PMV timeline looks like. Like, what a minute-long white PMV timeline looks like. Like, this is not bad at all. It was probably just like three or four, you know, tracks scattered. I like mean, it was, it was like, it. it was like quite a few tracks, oh. but but it looked like a one-minute-long White's PMV. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Like, yeah, oh, that's yeah, a lot. Be, yeah, I had worse. I had way worse than that. But I do get what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I mean, yeah, it looks bad. But, like, uh, that's not really that bad compared to a few 
Watch a few of your timelines. Yeah. Geez. I wonder what he was doing. Like, what what video requires all that? I, I don't know. I guess just a lot of, like, audio intricacies and whatever, because I, I, they do their audio in the video as well, and just a lot of, like, graphics and whatever. But, yeah, I mean, it goes to show that, like, like learning video editing through YTPMV can be pretty useful, considering, like, you, you're you kind of, like, just pushing it to its limits, like, immediately, like, starting off. Yeah. I'm just hoping that somebody can create a program because if anybody can make a like a better because I don't know the biggest op, the any competitor for Sony Vegas for me but if there's another program that drops I might just switch because yeah, Vegas the, is just it, it's just too many problems. Mm -hmm. the The main issue is there's there's no other program that can do uh, like audio pitch shifting and video editing like that can. Like uh, it's it's just in a in a non linear editor like Premiere can't do pitch shifting at all. Uh, damn, I didn't know or, that. Or can it, or I'm pretty sure I don't know. That's I've I've tried to use Premiere and that shit doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> uh, well, for Vegas, sounds like what you're saying. You gotta you gotta suck it up. But. I yeah, which sucks. <laughs> it sucks. It's like the same thing with YouTube. You just gotta suck it up and uh, use it. Yep. But uh. Yeah, is there is there anything else you want to bring up? Uh, a few things that I was just wondering. What what what's the goal for you? Like, I want I wanted to know what what are your future plans? What are you trying to get out of YTP and V? Are you planning oh, on stopping anytime uh, soon? Um, I'm not really planning on stopping anytime soon. For at least like I got another year in college, so at least for then, and then like I'll start to. Uh, you know, I'll start to actually have some money to travel. So then, hopefully, I could go to, because I wanna, I wanna go to more conventions with like other people. Like I go to, I I went to Magfest. So like that, that's like a huge like enjoyment factor of watch P and V for me. And it sucks. It sucks. I feel bad that like, like it's like for you, for instance, like you you just can't fly all the way to DC for like no. a weekend or something for a convention. But it's crazy. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, but in terms of like actual watch PMVs, like I guess what I'm trying to get out of it is just like the enjoyment factor, like people, like the fact that now I've like people recognize my name. That's that's pretty fucking cool. Like uh, yeah. I used to like starting off, I was pretty bad, and like slowly, I've I've just gotten better. I just want to be, I just want to be like way better. Like like uh, I don't know. Last year, I I like thought a lot about how um like you know you know how there's like a video in your mind that just like is absolutely like one of like the best masterpieces of this genre like for me that's like tremolo trouble for instance by keizu yeah uh, that see videos like that are just like i throw my hands up sometimes like whoa i know <laughs> <laughs> you did it <laughs> yeah, thanks yeah. <laughs> but but like i don't know i want to like i want to develop my own I'll style wait. to the point where i can just be, like make a masterpiece quote unquote like that but like it's it's a combination of laziness tedious like whether you want to deal with all that and see just like pure skill like i just lack the the visual skill to do some of that so i guess the, the, that's like my goal before i stop but i think okay. i'm gonna be like I think I'm going to be riding this train for as long as I find it enjoyable. Okay. Now, speaking of, like, skills, like, how do you, how would you approach it on getting better? Because, you know, Discord now, you know, Skype sucked. I'm not going to lie, but we have Discord now. Is there anything that you know you can do to possibly, you know, get better? Like, I agree, practice makes perfect, but if you don't know something, you don't know. So, I feel like the only way to get better is kind of talking to people who have done it already. Mm -hmm. but do you yeah, have any plans like on getting better like yeah definitely like uh t just keep making things like just to never take too big of a break um helps a lot with that but like in terms of like improving like i just need to like get out of my comfort zone basically like i need to i, I need to like stop being lazy and okay to, and to like do more because like oh too there's pretty much all my videos like i just kind of i put in um the song and then from there i just like look at my downloads and i come up with ideas like looking through my downloads folder 
And then, like, after, like, a few hours, I'm like, okay, this is in a presentable state. And I render and I upload and I never touch it again. So, like, oh, I need to, I need to, <laughs> I need to, like, stay on a video for more than, like, a few days and just, like, continually work on it and make it better rather than just, like, uh, because I, I just go from project to project too much. Oh, uh, you probably got, like, a lot of things on the back burner kind of thing. Like, a lot of things yeah. you just, like, made and then didn't touch anymore yeah yeah like like from uh i'll count real quick from magfest which was at like the beginning of this year so basically from the beginning of this year to now i've made like god i don't even know if i can count like 30 20 to 30 bags but like some of them some of them are like little jokes of like i don't know i pitched like five notes of like big chungus and that was like it (laughs) But, uh, <laughs> but like, but like, yeah, I just need to like stay with something longer than a day. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, like, like that. And then also just like getting ideas from other people and trying out new things with Vegas and dealing with its tedious bullshit more. Are you against of copying to be better when it comes to style? Well, at least visually. Cause I, okay. Here, here's an example. Um, you, do you know who Bowen, uh, Kane, Kynes, I think that's how you pronounce it is oh bowen yeah yeah you know who that is so i don't know if you noticed but casta when he was making videos obviously his his visuals were very identical to not not copying but the style was very identical to bowen's and he kept doing it to the point where he had his own visual style are you are you that kind of approach you'd be interested in yeah yeah it's just like i i don't know where to go with it like like i don't I don't know who exactly because like I I don't I don't really enjoy like muddied visuals necessarily like you know what I mean like just adding yeah. like a bunch of effects and throwing it all there but uh I think just making it like like I guess just clean looking not not necessarily insane but just like clean looking and not obviously lazy but <laughs> um like back you know the old random tv box video blitz like the one that started yep. that bad <laughs> yeah like like that that was like that was like a big inspiration for me back um back in 2013 but like in terms of like newer videos like i can't even think of too many new videos that's like oh i want to emulate this um yeah i don't i don't really know honestly yeah i that's I, I i get i get ideas but like just making something that just looks like memorable i guess for me like like oh uh, uh, uh like because uh my videos have been described like uh by a couple of people it's like i like your videos are enjoyable but i don't remember anyone specifically and i'm like damn oh like, shit <laughs> oh that, that I, like like i don't know uh, like it's not necessarily like an insult but like it's just like the the way they are so like that's something i kind of want to work on okay i 100 I percent uh, understand what you're saying now yeah <laughs> okay 2020 we're gonna see like a <laughs> A uh, a full effort video for you, like a uh, two minute long, you oh, know, cover fuck. or something like that. Probably not. <laughs> I feel like well, that's too much effort, like see, in time, because you're busy. I need like, to, <sighs> yeah, yeah. I need to find like a song. Like, like the main thing for me that drives me to making videos are for sure like songs, like uh, like oh, the okay. songs that I enjoy. I watch PMV. Like, I don't do like very much video game music at all. So hey, like, you don't. Uh, that could be a reason why. <laughs> Like yeah, your, your, yeah. The song choices, the song choices limit it like a little bit for sure because like build ups like in a lot of EDM like build ups are like tedious and like I don't they're repetitive and like uh, a full song could be repetitive but I've I've definitely had ideas of just doing like a full full song but I just need to like yeah I think I think it just all stems back to like spending more than a day on a video. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm uh, kind of excited to see how what 2020 is gonna be like. Our team VMV, so I'll definitely oh, be fuck yeah. stalking around your channel for a bit. Oh fuck yeah, thank you. I'm I'm gonna be stalking around you. You gonna make anything big? Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say fuck it and start making baking shit. Yeah. Cause you know, yeah. like sometimes you you just open something and then you're just like looking at it and then you just close it. The next day you do the same thing. Mm-hmm. I think the only way to get better is just making whether you think it's bad or not, I think what separates good people from people that are like exceptionally well is just making content even when you think it, it's not good so i think that could help us the most yeah shutting definitely. up and making I videos agree. 
Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what, that's what I have to tell some of my friends. They're just like, dude, just like, if you got an idea, just make it, man. Like, who, like if you yep. want to, if you want to make it, just make it. Yeah. So, well, uh, what do you, you got anything you want to plug then before we wrap up? Uh, not, not really. Honestly, I just shout out to everybody who subscribed to me over the years because God has been a long time since I've been on YouTube. Um, shout out to you for allowing me to be on this podcast because I know this shit takes a long time to edit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it, it's yeah. fun. It's not too bad. Oh, okay. Because I know you got to listen through like a 30 minutes to an hour worth of talking <laughs> and cutting yeah. it up. I know, I know that sucks, man. I, I did it before. <laughs> But, uh, I, mean, yeah, I, mean, thank you I for- like I like I like white P V enough to make it so it's worth it, you know. But anyway. I mean I wish more people would do this, honestly. Like there's you know, jokes are fun, but like I don't want to be the guy, but like, you know, you could you can have some serious side of white T P V and it ain't gonna be all, you know, piss, fart, sex jokes, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know. But hopefully this these podcasts inspire other people to, you know, start, you know, documenting and talking to other white P and Vers. Yeah, yeah. Like definitely. you got Discord now. There's no excuse of why we can't do this anymore. <laughs> Skype, I can understand because there's IP addresses involved and people get weird. But here, you should be safe. So, but yeah. Yeah. Just thank yeah, you again I... for taking the time out your day of to course. do this, man. Of course, man. Thank you for being on. And right. yeah, go subscribe. Go subscribe to Aluminum. He make he hey. makes some good good ass vids. Sometimes. But yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Y2PMV podcast. I want to apologize for taking so long to edit this episode. I let real life stuff get in the way and kept pushing it back. So moving forward, I won't be making that same issue anymore. Thanks. Let me know what you think below.